Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the de-stash process on my second drawer, Helmer One. So if you remember in the last video, we looked at Sephora Formula X, Barium, and C&D, and I tried to de-stash as much as possible. And if you watch that video first, you'll see like all the criteria that I use when I'm going to do, do this really fast, like lightning quick decision making when I'm de-stashing. So today we're gonna be doing all of my finger paints polishes. I do, I think that I have some still coming up in my big swatch bin up there, coming up for Swatch Fest. So you'll still see some, um, you know, in the future from me in Swatch Fest. But these are all the polishes that I have swatched, um, whether it was for a full collection or just, you know, it happened in a Swatch Fest and I liked it enough to keep it. So these are all the polishes that, you know, when I was trying to make the decision before, right after swatching it, am I going to wear that again or not wear it again? These were all ones that I really liked. So that's why this is so hard for me, you guys. I'm not really looking through any polishes that I was like, yeah, no, that's not good. So I'm forcing myself to make decisions here, you guys, because I need to make room for more things. As I mentioned in the last video, I do have a D-Stash store in V-Site. It's listed in the description bar below. As soon as I, I told you guys in the last video, as soon as I got this one, part two up, you would be able to go and shop there from the last, the previous three, including this video, stash video, D-Stash video. So everything from Helmer Drawer 1 and 2 and then any like collections that I reviewed that I just wasn't that into will be up there as well. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and look at these polishes and see what I can get rid of. All right, so we're gonna start with these China Glaze Active Color Polishes. This first one, Preserve in Pink, is that really light, sheer, like a very delicate, oh, it's, it's really pretty, but I don't find myself looking to wear a shade like that very often. So I'm going to pass that one along. After that, the colors start to become a little bit more vibrant. Made for Peach Other. It's a really beautiful peach. Again, um, I th I'm going to hold on to a few others in this collection. Not this one, though. I'm going to go ahead and pass it along because I don't often think to wear peach. This color really surprised me, especially when I got it back out, for Coral Support. I had forgotten the beautiful brightness of this shade and it has that kind of soft curly formula so I'm actually gonna hold on to this one this one was one of my favorites and this next one set in gray stone um, this is really pretty I compared to the rest of them I wasn't super excited about this shade but this is this is pretty good if you're looking for that kind of pebble white gray kind of shade a nude awakening if you were looking for a really beautiful nude in this formula. This one was really good too. Um, I'm not going to hang on to it. I'm going to go ahead and list it and hopefully it will find a happy home with somebody. Overall, I thought this collection was good. I'm remembering that in the review I was kind of disappointed and that's because they claim to be one coders, but if you totally forget about that, they're good. I really liked this collection. This one, I'm sure you guys can guess, this one is my favorite. It's so bright, it's so beautiful, that silky two coat kind of Crelly formula is really, really nice. Okay, so we're moving on to finger paints, by the way, I was keeping that last purple. <laughs> moving on to finger paints, we have quite a few here, so we're going to run through them. Now these are, remember, all the finger paints that I've kept because I really like them. But I'm trying to pare down. This is a cool gold because it has, as you can see, it's more of like a topper but it has rainbow sparklies in it. It was really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and pass it along because I kept a lot of golds, but that one was really interesting. Ball Gown Glamour. This one is so beautiful. Really rich green with sparkling gold. I'm gonna list this, but it's, it's really, really pretty, you guys. Watermelon Watercolor. This one is gorgeous as far as pinks go. I really, really like it and the formula is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and list it. Man, that looks pretty, but I just know, I know myself, I know I'm probably not gonna wear it because it's pink, so I'm gonna list it. Golden Kisses, this is a very textured, beautiful kind of grungy gold with what looks like some green and some purple in there. This is really cool. Um, I'm gonna list this as well because that's pretty much the point. <laughs> But it's really cool guys. So basically I'm just gonna keep the ones that are just absolutely just really standing out to me Oh my gosh is another textured color. That's a little bit less opaque um, I'll list that one as well Sparkle in the sky. Oh my goodness you guys this one is so beautiful If you're new here, 
I like finger paints polish. I think they do a really great job. Wow, this one's stunning. I think I might have to hold on to this one. Just that really beautiful inky dark indigo. Oh, this one's a texture. That's right. Hmm. I'm, I think I'm going to hang on to that one. Okay, this one off to collage or off to call it whatever. I have purchased three bottles of this, not remembering that I'd bought it before. Because every single time I go into that store and I see this on display, I'm like, oh my goodness, I love that. So it has chameleon shifty glitters and purple glitters. I love it so much. I have two other bottles. That are, I think I've already put them in giveaways. So I don't think I have them to list, but I don't know. We'll see. I might have more hiding. Queen for a night. Oh, I think I'm going to hang on to this one instead of sparkle in the sky. This is the non-textured version. And it's just so deep and sexy. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta put them side by side and decide because I, sh I shouldn't hold on to both since they're so similar. Masked Beauty. This is a really beautiful, sandy, bronzy gold with like it looks like micro flakies in there. I think I'm gonna pass it along, but that's so pretty. Oh, Prince and Princesses. I remember this. I think this is the only orange I'm gonna keep today. I love this. It has beautiful shimmer in it. It's just very lustry. I love that. That's really, really pretty. So, I know I don't keep a lot of oranges, but that one is spectacular. I'm so enameled by you. This is a really fun glitter. Look at that. It's got shifties. It's got, what is that, iridescence or hollow and some gold. I'm going to list this, but that's really, really cool. I'm just trying to not to hold on to a lot, guys. So, I'm trying to do my best. Party Teal Dawn. This one has, this one's looking a lot more green on the left there than on the right. There we go. That's that's a little bit more accurate, I think. Um, I'm going to list that one, even though it has that very cool, it's like an active color kind of Crelly formula like we were looking at before. Gorgeous Graffiti. Mm. I'm going to list that. I'm going to list it because I, don't, I haven't thought of it. But that has a really cool uh, matte formula with shimmer, a pink mess. I'm just kind of um, speaking right through this one. I'm not, I know I'm not going to keep this because it's pink, but whoa, look at that color. Oh, that's so pretty. So pink lovers, watch out. Okay, now this pink I'm actually going to keep. This is the kind of pink that I can get down with. It's soft. It's a little bit dusty. Blushing with excitement. And the formula is so good. So I remember really liking that whole collection. That's so pretty, you guys. Oh my goodness, I love that. Okay, such a fake. I have two polishes. I think they're like almost in a row that are very similar with this very strong gold shimmer and the glitters. It's really, really pretty. Um, best is like a topper, it looks like. And I think I'm going to pass that one along, especially since I have two that are so similar. I don't know. I might, I might go ahead and list both of them. Lavender Love. I love obviously this is so good this is I think the sister to blushing with excitement and they apply just the same so pretty love 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 so I'm going to definitely hang on to that one so this is copycat and it's similar to that one we were just looking at that I said I had two right next to each other that were really really close so see that gold shimmer with the glitters they're incredibly close I can't I mean this is going by too fast for me to tell you what exactly is the difference between the two but I think I'm gonna go ahead and list both of them um, I have the painters hues this one's so pretty it's just like a deep black cherry kind of shade almost that's so pretty I'm gonna pass it along because I have a lot of shades like that but that's absolutely gorgeous Okay, lavender brush strokes. I have a lot of purples to choose from you guys today because those are the ones I tend to hang on to. I don't know. I have to see this. Oh, it's so pretty on the nail. I think I'll keep that. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Fifty Shades of Ashley. This came from the collection when the winner of Project Runway, Ashley, got to make a whole collection. I was so excited for her. And I think I'm going to pass this one along. This might have actually come from the collection that I was just talking about so highly. The Blushing with Excitement and Lilac Love. But I never remember that polish to wear it. So I'm going to pass it along. Pronto Purple. Same thing. Um, this one just doesn't excite me as some of the other purples. So I'm going to go ahead and let go of this one. Magenta Mural. Oh yeah, this is kind of a different color than the other purples that I held on to. I don't know. I'll wait to see it on my nail. Oh, that's really purple. I think I'm going to... Really purple. It's really beautiful. Yes, it's really purple. I think I'm going to keep that one. That had a really pretty, um, lustry shimmer. Thank you very much. This has 
a gorgeous formula. I think this one's also from the Project Runway Ashley collection. Whoa, that's so pretty. I might hold on to that one too. What would be smart of me would just be to let the whole collection go and list it all together so somebody could have it all together, but I like some of them too much. Go with the flow. This one's a really beautiful texture. Um, oh, that went by too fast for me to decide. I guess I'll let that go. Oh, that's hard. Dance Till Dawn. Okay, this is one of my favorite finger paints polishes ever, so I'm going to hang on to this one. All that beautiful sparkly kind of copper shimmer from within I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to that I remember featuring that in a favorites video a few years ago I think fathom blue this is pretty this the actual like iridescentness of this polish isn't really showing up right now I'm gonna go ahead and list that um but that one's really cool it has some really beautiful iridescent qualities that the camera wasn't picking up masterpiece of minimalism <sighs> This is just my kind of purpley taupe shade. I'm going to keep that one. That is just so stunning. I know my nails don't actually look like that. <laughs> anyway, it'll still look nice on short nails. Neo Gothic Nude. This is a really pretty nude. I wonder how it, oh, it looks okay on my skin tone. Mm, I'm going to go ahead and list it. That'll look better on somebody else. Beverly's Touch. This is a really goldy gold, foily gold. Wow, that's bright. Um, I might keep that one. I might keep that one because I think I've listed all the other golds so far. Pink Perspective. Oh, okay, this pink I'm going to keep. So I kept two pinks today so far. This is a beautiful neon pink. I love the formulation. It gives me no issues. I really like that. And it's a beautiful um, finish. I like that level of matte finish. So I'm going to keep that one. Clay on Words. This is a beautiful, bright neon coral with some shimmer. Um, let's see how it looks. It's just okay. I'm going to list it. I think somebody else will like that better than I do. Key to My Art. This is another gold similar to the other one we just looked at. But this one is more greeny and not as gold gold. So I think I will list this one because I liked the other one a little bit better. Cubism Crimson. We just recently looked at this in a swatch fest this is so beautiful you guys really really beautiful it has kind of a stinker of a brush wow that's gorgeous i think i'm gonna list that even though i like it so much i'm gonna stick to that and list it what a dish this polish is cool because it's like a taupey pink with some shimmer it's really cool oh that looks like ice queen oh that looks beautiful i'm gonna keep that Woo! I didn't think I was going to keep that when I started swatching it, but I couldn't help myself when I saw it on, guys. Wear Art Renoir. This is a beautiful black with silver sparkles in it. Oh, that's so pretty. I have indie things that are similar that are more interesting, though, so I think I'm going to pass that one along. Kapow! This is like one of the only chunk, not, it's not really chunky, but clear base glitters that I kept because I think that that glitter combo is pretty cool, but. I'm going to pass that along. As you can see, it did take two solid coats to really build anything up there, um, but I think the glitters are cool. Warm Hearted. This polish is really neat. It's got that soft peachy brown shimmer. Hmm. I think I'll pass that one along because I had forgotten completely about it. Stop. Impasto. I remember really liking this when I swatched it for Swatch Fest. Really, really liking it. But I think I held on to too many things. So that's it, guys. Okay, guys, here we are at the reveal. These are all the polishes I decided to par with. It actually looks like quite a lot when you line them all up like this. And it feels really good to be letting go of things. So as you can see, I kept, or I am letting go of four of the active colors over there on the right. And I'm keeping two. And of all of those finger paints, I decided to keep 12. My 12 favorites that is a manageable amount for me to wear. So here is the Helmer. This was absolutely brimming full before I began with all the brands that we looked at in this video and the last video. So now this is just much more manageable for me. I also have to admit to myself that what this is doing is leaving room for more growth. But... <laughs> Hopefully, well, we'll see. Not very likely to be from Sephora by Formula X since you can't really find those anymore. Um, and we'll see from finger paints. It might be a few here or there, but I'm hoping to move another brand in here that needs to have a Helmer. So 
Make way for some sisters polishes. You won't be left all alone for very long. So anyway, you guys, thanks for coming along with me today. I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed watching me make decisions. And I appreciate those of you who leave comments. Uh, one of the comments on the last video that, they, that I thought was particularly funny was somebody was rooting for a specific polish to be kept that you really liked. I thought that was incredibly cute. So, as you guys know, I said after I post this video, I will be posting my D-Stash. So... I will let you know on Instagram when that is live. And I will see you guys hopefully back for the next video. And what brand do you want to see next? Let me know what brand that we haven't done yet that isn't one of the main that I hold on to for comparison purposes. Um, that is China Glaze, Orly, and Essie, and Zoya that I hold on for comparisons, for mainstream comparisons. All the other brands that you've seen me swatch, what do you want to see me do next? So let me know, you guys, and I'm going to turn you back over to my face. Okay, you guys, that was so hard. I love finger paint so, so much, but I just, I know that I will be happier with less. Right now, I'm feeling like I need to just have less, <laughs> so, which is hard because I'm constantly bringing it in for my channel, but... This is the first step, right? I hear people saying a lot this year with like New Year's resolutions and stuff. Progress, not perfection. Don't ever expect perfection out of yourself. Just aim for progress and that's all you can really do. So I'm so glad that you came by for this video today, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Maybe it helped you feel a little bit of an urge to clean out your own stuff. That's always good to inspire each other with things like that. So I will see you back for the next video, you guys. Thanks for joining me today. Take care. Bye.